Hey y'all and welcome back. Today we are going to look at the verb keep. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. But not before you hit my subscribe button down below with notifications so you never miss a lesson. With this said, let's get started. Well, keep is so much used in conversational English that you just don't want to miss it. And you know how it's best learned? Well, through examples. Yes, you had such a good yes. Now, let's go. I'm going to tell you the example and then you can make a couple more or think of others on the way and leave them down in the comments so we can chat together and learn more. I keep saying that learning through collaboration works best, okay? So, number one, the first meaning. I'm sorry to keep you waiting with the lessons. Hmm, like delaying it, yeah? That's what it means. Or just sorry for keeping you waiting today. Yeah, like I've been late. Sorry to keep you waiting. The meaning here so far is to delay. Well, there's another meaning to it, to retain. What's keeping you to say this? What's retaining you to say this? What makes you not be able to say that thing? Good. What is your example? Another example might be what's keeping you from telling her the truth? Okay. What's keeping you from telling her the truth? All right. Now let's move on to the second meaning, which is the physical one actually having something in your possession like for example you keep an agenda or you keep a diary you just have it it's your possession do you keep a diary let me know here and how does it feel to me keeping a diary helps a lot with relieving stress or also with managing tasks over the day and stuff like this. <laughs> what do you think? Well, the next example is attached to this one, let's say, but it's not that physical. You don't own anything. It's just that you also have it in your possession, but not on a physical level. Yeah, for example, you can keep your word, you can keep a promise, or you keep a secret. It's usually children that want their parents to keep their word, like for example, to take them to the zoo, to take them shopping, yeah, because they've done something good. So, Daddy, now I've done my homework, please keep your word to give me a ride, or keep your word and take me to the cinema, take me to the movies. <laughs> the next one is to keep your promise, I said. Um, when was the last time that you didn't keep your promise and why? Why did you not keep your promise? I forgot to lock the front door. Let's keep it a secret. There is one more situation where you can use keep with some adjectives, yeah? You can keep somebody or something warm, nice, clean, tidy, dry, safe, and the list can go on. Let's take a look at some examples now. Keep your place clean and you're gonna stay out of trouble. Keep yourself out of the water and in this way you're gonna keep your clothes dry or keep your clothes dry and you're not going to tremble. <laughs> Good. Let's keep this place nice and safe. Well, like when talking about a city, a community, yeah, who's trying to stick together and not allow, you know, vandalism and rubbers to be part of it. Lastly, we can keep it nice short, simple, brief, with presentations. And this is what I tell my students. 
to keep oral presentations in class about countries, about some cultures, about routines, about famous people around the world, to keep it simple and short. Also, make sure you keep it entertaining and interesting for others. So you can keep it like a presentation or a moment, yeah, in a certain way. You can use whatever adjective you feel it's suitable. Here, with this said, we are done. Don't forget to leave your examples down here. I hope you like the video. So for that, remember to give it a like. And I'll see you again next time. Thank you so much. Bye for now.